Hey guys, Tazels here and we're back playing some more Enshrouded. Uh, I thought I'd give you a little update on the base and where we're at and then we're going to go off and uh, try and find one of the flame san sanctums and see if we can do some stuff. Um, I did die not so long ago over in that direction so if you can see the red blip on the compass, <laughs> that's my body but um, I didn't lose too much so it's okay and I actually can't get it back because I'm in the red shroud so... <laughs> lesson learned anyway um we're kind of building a village um that's the way that i've taken to building on enshrouded and so we have like different houses for our different people um we got here this is like the alchemist guy and then um over here is the archer type person the you can craft like different things including backpacks and stuff which increases um how much you can carry which is cool um but yeah i built them all their own little separate houses because i thought that that was pretty cool then obviously we have our house and then the blacksmith area over here um so yeah i decided to kind of like i want to build it into like a village thing because i thought that that'd be really cool um so that's what i've been doing but yeah without further ado we're gonna head off um over to uh flame sanctum which hopefully i should be able to get to you without too much trouble and uh yeah i will be right back once we're there guys okay guys so we appear to be at the flame sanctum which is kind of up a mountain somewhere anyway um we're gonna head in here and see what we can find generally these places have puzzles and stuff but we'll see these other sort of recipes in their flame, but it warms them no longer. Oh. Oh, instead we got a spark from here. Okay, cool. Some of some uh areas they have like puzzles and stuff, but that's cool. Alright, okay. There's also a question mark area like here. That we haven't discovered yet and i also have a quest over here which is story of fire so i'm gonna go over here i think because i'm in the general uh vicinity okay here we go here's the story of fire so these are like these altar things that we've been uh trying to do for the story humanity will fade as all beings do their light will flicker and die untouched by the eternal flame Oh, we got a skill point. Is there a book here? Ooh, Wanderer's Boots. Nice, I'll take that. And a little book. Alright, nice, okay. So let's go. So we still haven't unlocked uh, carpentry or the farmer. We're kind of in the middle of obelisk research at the minute. I might go for... See, we now have the ancient obelisk over here. I might try and go... What are we closest to? Technically the farmer, but I would prefer the carpenter. I'm going to fast travel to the ancient spire over here and we're going to go for the carpenter. Okay, guys, so we are back and this place is in the shroud, which is fine, but they hit really hard. <laughs> um, Harder than I was expecting. And so I'm sort of struggling a little bit to get my way through. They're much higher level than what i was expecting so i'm trying to use my bow and stuff and navigate around here now i've taken out two but there's these two like warrior ones in the shroud that are causing me that's one of them uh some issues here <gasps> okay i'm dead so the other problem is not falling into the red shroud, which I have obviously just done, which is um, kind of catastrophic, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Let's hope that they have not respawned, because if they have, that's bad. And I need to be aware of that platform that falls straight into red shroud. So let's not mess about up there.
Okay, we're all right at the minute. So here's the two guys that I was talking about that caused the problem. Okay, one down. Two down. All right. That was better. Okay, we need to move. So because this is all shroud and basically uh, the carpenter is apparently somewhere within this, uh, we need to basically get a wriggle on. Okay, let's just not mess around, shall we? All right, this is bad, but it's okay. I say it's okay. But it's really not. I'm going to die again. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Nope. All right, guys, round two. I'm just going to run because I feel like this place is horrifically bad. And uh, all I've done is die. So I'd really like to get my stuff back if that's an option. definitely respawning okay Okay, running. Okay, there's some... Wah! No, no! Red Shroud, Red Shroud. Oh, okay, that's not the way to go. That's not helpful, is it? I don't know what way is the way. Where's the way? Here? Have I got any Healy potions? Two minutes 53, this is why we need to move. We can reset the time here though. Okay. Okay, run tactic has currently worked. Now where? Okay, I would assume through the wall, but... The answer to that is yes. It's 
not what I meant to do. This isn't ideal, but it worked. And I think this is the room we need to be in. Yes, it is. <sighs> okay. So we have got the carpenter, which is great. And now somehow, I need to get back out of here. Oh, I see where I am. Can I glide in here? Yes. Okay, we're definitely a level where we shouldn't be able to do what I just did, okay? But we managed to do it, we got the carpenter, and now we are going to get an earth out of here. <sighs> Just in time for sunrise. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, gonna head back to base with the carpenter, and uh, yeah, we will go from there. Okay guys, so we're back and uh we can now place our carpenter now i haven't built a home from yet but i will so for now though because you can move them around he can just go yeah. here i just want to see what we can uh what we can craft so let's have a look i can do it oh okay we get kiln a magic chest oh, that's cool different but oh check this out now we can start crafting some pretty cool stuff this is why i wanted to go for the carpenter because this is what i thought we'd be able oh the secret doors yes all right uh and then also he's going to give us some more quests and stuff as well which is cool because we'll need those so yeah actually that's super cool because now we can uh craft all kinds of different various things i do need to do some uh extra bits around base right now uh, they're all trying to give me quests. So, uh, yeah, I need to, I need some more storage. I need to do some spits and pieces around base, but that's pretty cool. I also want to upgrade, um, some different weapons and stuff. I keep dying though and losing my, uh, runes. So I've put them in a chest and I'm trying to remember to do that when I come back to base. But basically I've got like a legendary short bow over here that's pretty cool. I want to upgrade that. Uh, maybe start using that because the one I'm using is only a level four but it's hunter's bow. I did upgrade it though so it does have extra power. Um, but yeah we have like a couple of different things going on. I just want to upgrade some bits and pieces but yeah. Um, that was a little adventure there. We got the carpenter which is pretty cool. I just need to build him a little house um but yeah i'm gonna leave this video here guys thank you so much for watching don't forget if you like the videos to hit the like button and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys